We used to have competitors from all over travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Nevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village, sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep, at least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. Make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm going to go confer with Otto. We go way back, and well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. <sighs> I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Well then, we're just gonna have to get them out. See what you can do here. I'm gonna try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. We gotta get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Um, hello. Don't you hello, face meat. Wait a minute. You're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab. And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing up all of face meat air. Face meat prefers dweeb free air. What do you know about the old builders who run this place? Well, one, they hate being called old builders. Two, they're face meets bosses. Three, they're not big on hugs. Hey, what do you even do around here? Face meet cracks skulls and thinks about cracking more skulls. When face meet has time, that is. Do you know where my friends are? In the mines. Duh. And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meets watch. That doesn't mean just stand there, staring at face meat. Please, what can I do to get them out? Well, now that you mention it, face meat was busy slamming mad raps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face meat's hungry. Do something about that, and face meat will think about getting your friends out. from Spleef. You were like amazing. I know. <laughs> and I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your prods upset, especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I understand now. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like, Tim status. Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim on the signs. Like one, okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. That's right. I'm gonna win the games too. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, don't like tell anyone, but I would rather be on your team. Green team captain is like, pfft, she is so not chill. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend, 
I owe you. So if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean seriously, I mean anything at all. Like, I want to help out people. Well, actually, do you have any extra food? Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash. And if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Come on, uh, quick before anybody sees us. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? Of course, brah. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> That should all go back soon. Nice. Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. Yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no prob. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Um, hey? You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. I mean, I know I'm good at this, but I'm not that good. Hey, no hard feelings. I didn't know what I had gotten into. Let's just move past this. No. I will eliminate you next round and make you suffer. It'll be fun for me. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long, so you wouldn't know. But the gladiators are trained for everything. And they are completely under Hadrian's control. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. you ever won the games? Yeah, I won, but I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. should be enough for a table. Aha! Uh -huh. That's some fine crafting. Let's make some food. should be able to get my friends back.
I'll just... I'm gonna go now. figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... Okay, of course I saved you, okay? You're one of my best friends. Well, I just hope Ivor isn't too jealous. I'm glad you're with me on this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh, wait! Response! Jesse, man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor! Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up! My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, you don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. Oh, sorry. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Don't worry. We're just in this tournament where if we win, we get the Atlas and our ticket home. Oh, well, that's better than I thought. But if we lose, we'll be mining for quartz forever. Nope, that is not a thing I want. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> it's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just uh, stare at you while you mine. Lucas, we need the Atlas to get home. <sighs> I know. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper, until our entire team is eliminated, you're allowed to stay here in the village. That's right. Your friends weren't supposed to go to the mines yet. I am sincerely sorry about that. Jesse, this is Otto, my old friend. Like I said, he may be able to help. So you're the one who's supposed to help us? Well, I'll enforce the rules at any rate. If that helps you, then uh, can't be games without rules. <laughs> Harper's been filling me in about you. From the story she's told, I'm impressed. You might actually make it to the top. In fact, you're the most exciting thing to come to this place in a long time. A real wild card. Yeah, I think you might be a real Tim in the making. Yep, a real Tim. Really interesting, you being here. I can feel change in the air. Tim, please. I can do anything he can do better. Well, you might just be right about that, Jesse. I'm rooting for you, kid. Just don't disappoint me. Can we trust him, Harper? Who knows? Otto's been doing this forever. At least he seemed interested. Anyway, dorms are over there. We got a big day tomorrow, Jesse. Ah, oh, that sounds awesome. Can't wait to just sit for a little while. And in the morning, I'm winning and getting us all out of here. I wonder what the next event will be. Hopefully nothing too deadly. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
but I can't take you seriously looking like that. It breathes. Wonderfully! Hello, competitors, and welcome to the next day of the game. And it's gonna be a hot one. Woo! Yes, it is, Adrian. And how are our teams looking, Otto? Well, Mevia, purple, green, and yellow are still making a strong showing. But after yesterday's performance in Spleef, I'm afraid to say that the red team has been completely eliminated. Oh, I guess it's back to the mines for them. <laughs> and, of course, about our plucky newcomers. Otto, shut up. We don't need to hear about them. Well, for everyone else, don't forget to be like Tim out there. I wonder how this is gonna go. Oh my gosh, I am so sick of those pompous jerks. Yeah, I'm right there with you. All right, competitors, the next event is almost upon us. Time to head to the starting line. Starting line? Huh. A race! We've totally got this! <laughs> got this, huh? Boom! Surprise locker room visit! Ha! How we doing, everybody? It's Adrian! And here are the newcomers that everyone's been talking about since their <laughs> explosive debut in Spleef. Tell me, champ, what's on your mind as you approach the next challenge? Make sure you smile when that spotlight's on you. We have appearances to keep up here. I'm not going to be in your twisted interview, Hadrian. Get out of my face. Oh, I'll get out of your face. But I'll be laughing at your face from my nice cushy box while I watch you burn. Oh, I promise you that. Nothing. Listen up, bucko. These are supposed to be games. These are supposed to be fun. So play along. I sincerely hope that we understand each other. I'm through talking, Hadrian. Let's just get this over with. Oh, you are just really pushing my buttons now. Watching you burn is going to be extra satisfying. <laughs> what a lovely day for a game. Jesse, good luck out there. I'm sure you'll be great, but... Uh, well, everyone could always use a little dose of luck, right? Aw, Em. Glad to see my charms finally wore you down. Well, I was thinking about how you handled Spleef, and then you made that deal with the old builders, and I thought... An enemy of my enemy is my friend. Whoa. That means M wants to be, like, friends with you, Jesse. <laughs> what? M might be up to something. So, uh, yeah. How about we work together on this? I could use an ally. Then you could use my help. <sighs> come on, Jesse. I'm trying to help you out here. Oh, come on, M. You expect me to believe that? What are you up to here? Nothing, honest. It's just... Watching you negotiate with Hadrian, trying to get home, it inspired me. It made me want to go home, too. We should be working together. In the middle of the race is a part with tons of gladiators. That's when we should all team up. Defeat them, then race to the finish. Well, what do you say? Unless you don't want the help of a former gladiator. I mean, that's okay, too. You got a deal. Good. I won't let you down. Competitors, to the starting line. Meet you at Gladiator Junction. Gladiator Junction? That sounds awesome. At least we won't have to fight her and the gladiators. I'm ready for this. Those gladiators are going down. Hint, it's going to involve a lot of punching and kicking. Give them all you got, Petra. I've been waiting all day for you to say that. I just like wanted to say it's like an honor to be working together and I'm glad that M like totally suggested that we can do this uh yeah 
I knew that you were cool from the moment we met. Competitors, on your mark! Get set. Go! That's what you think. Huh? Out of the way, chumps! Junction. But where are the gladiators? Part. Sure hopes. So. Come on, man. Glad she's with us, Jesse. You're mine. I've been dreaming about this since sleep. Oh yeah, Club. You seem pretty outnumbered. Just means more fun for me. We'll see about that, right, Em? Em? <laughs> Fine, squishy.
this thing. Dude, I am like so close. I could do this. Sorry now. I'm winning this thing. Enough for you. Thanks for saving me. Don't mention it. This race is almost over, and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. And the winner of the lava race, the gladiator, formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true. Then why hasn't Jesse respond yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. You lied to me. You tricked me into trusting you. All this stuff you said about being friends was a lie. I know. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? <gasps> no, no, no! Please! <sighs> you probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. No, I get it, Em. I might have even done the same thing in your position. Well, I'm glad that you get it wasn't personal, at any rate. I... I gotta go. Okay, respawning is the worst. You! Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on. I don't have all day. I'm warning you, Jesse. And are you mad too? Mad I didn't get eliminated? No. No? Because you seem mad. Yeah, okay, fine. I'm mad that he wouldn't let me kill you a few times before I brought you upstairs. And you should know I asked. Come on. No. Just Jesse. Ugh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. <sighs> okay. Well, be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hey, psst. I need to talk to Keep you. Keep up. Come on. Come here. It'll be quick. Jesse. You gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. I think you're gonna wait for me, Lackey. I mean, what are you gonna do? Kill me? Oh, wait, I forgot. You can't. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse. I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. 
We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Sebastian. Phew. Okay. Good. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I... Well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! And now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. Just the most not cool. Oh, we're not that late. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you are just super inconsiderate. You know that? Wow. So this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... Sounds to me like you're just easily impressed. Oh, yeah? Well, sounds to me like you don't have proper appreciation for quality architecture, doofus. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything. Slab said don't touch anything. He never said, don't look at everything. Oops. Hey, Bat! Hey, Batsy! Whoops! I've never seen a quartz desk before. Wow, an all quartz wall. Impressive. Tim's armor that now belongs to Jesse. So, I see you found Tim's armor. Gotta say, Jesse. I'm surprised that you try and steal that armor, considering everyone is calling you the new Tim. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a very Tim thing to do, does it? Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. I'm not scared of you. Why should you be? I'm trying to give you what you want. You can look closer, go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? Doesn't that bug you? Aren't these supposed to be your games? And they are still my games. I love having a legend that can inspire my competitors. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. I don't really do quiet exits. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I could ask the same of you. I know a lot more than you might think, Sparto. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I don't believe you. Of course Tim won. Everyone knows Tim won, and you sent him home. You really believe in Tim, huh? Well, you, you think he's real. Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins, ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. 
This really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. I'm going to get you guys free, I promise. It's great to hear that you're not a prisoner, at least. Well, I kind of am, but different. Oh. I'm just glad we're all back together. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow. This is... Wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion and we haven't even gotten to the best part i saved that for last what oh yes your best friend reuben sup <sighs> i've heard all about him your best friend Friend, your partner in crime. Um, hi, Reuben. Oh, so nothing too much. How about yourself? Oh, same. This is so awkward. So you use the Atlas to kidnap all my best friends. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse. Incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if. They will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those mines. I don't believe it. You're just a dirty cheater. You know that I'm going to win. So you're just trying to stack the deck however you can. You wound me, Jesse. Your barbed words. Ouch. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? Do you even really think you can win these games? Wow, tough one. That's actually kind of a good deal. No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. Play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slap! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. <sighs> <sighs> 